Hello everyone, here's another video Photoshop tutorial brought to you by Questional.com. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to take a dull image and increase the color and increase the saturation and essentially make a high definition image. And I don't mean just high definition in the sense of just increasing color, I'd really like to make this image pop so somebody walking down the hallway can turn and go, hey, that's a really interesting, cool effect that photo has. So let's go ahead and attempt this here. I'd first like to point out that this image was taken by Sarah Lytle. She's given me permission to use it. It's an absolutely amazing image. No idea where she was, but let's go ahead and use this image here. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my background here, and then I'm going to blur this guy to the max. I'm going to use a Gaussian blur at 250, all the way it can go. I'm just going to hit OK there, and as it's thinking, the next step I'm going to do is stick it on Color Dodge. This is really going to bring out some of those colors and it's actually going to be a little bit too much, if you ask me. Uh, I'd also like to say, I forgot to say this earlier, that when I'm doing this, I'm going to go too far on basically everything, knowing that in the end, I can always adjust it later and put it back. It's harder to go the other way, but taking it off is easy to do, and is a cool tool to use as long as you're thinking ahead. So here's this image here. I'm going to apply a mask to this, and I'll hold down the Alter Option key in my mouse wheel to scroll out a bit, spacebar to position my image. And I'm going to use a fairly large brush. I'm going to right click, oop, right click on the canvas. And as you can see, I'm using a harness of, of zero, very soft brush, and a very large one. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint on my mask. I'm going to paint this sky out. I don't want to blow that up too much. Went a little, little uh, far there. I'm going to hit X to revert my colors, or invert them, sorry. And I'm going to paint some of that mountain back in. All right. I'm going to double click my hand tool to bring it back to uh, fit the width of the of my screen. And I'm going to go into my next step. Next, I'd like to go ahead and I'm looking at the grass here and I'm thinking it could be, hey, a little bit greener, right? I am going to go too far. I said that earlier. So first thing I'd like to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my color picker here and I'm going to find a green. That one, oh, let me get off my mask. I'm going to choose that one right there. There we go. That should be nice and bright for me. So I'm going to create a new layer here. I'm going to create a solid, uh, solid color, new adjustment layer. I'm going to hit OK. That's a lovely color, something you'd find in a cafe, it seems. Alright, and I'm going to go to my blending mode, and instead of using Color Dodge like I've been using, I'm going to stick this on Overlay instead. Color Dodge would be a little bit too much, <laughs> as if that's not too much. And I'm going to zoom out of here again. And I'm going to apply, it comes with a mask, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to change it around a bit, using a, oh, I'm going to D to get my colors back to default. And... That's what I'd really like to do is on my mask selected, I'd like to get rid of the top half so much using the gradient. So it's a nice, smooth transition. The bottom will work for me for now. It's a little bit much, as I said, but we can fix that in just a second. So I'm starting at white, so I'm going to just click on the bottom here, hold the shift bar to keep my line nice and vertical. I'm going to go to about the mounds or so. Let's try that. There we go. That's looking nicely. Definitely brought out some of that color. All right. And as I'm looking at this, I'm noticing the stream, or whatever that is, is still a little bit dark for me. So I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to grab my brush here. And I'm going to go, actually, let me go back to my solid color here. I'm going to double click that. I'm going to hit C Command C to copy that and go back to my colors here. And paint, paint right in there, so I'm using the same color. There we go. And on my new layer here, I'm going to take a smaller br brush, left bracket key to, sm to make this a bit smaller. I've still got a zero hardness, and I'm going to take a very precise, very, very complicated paint here. I'm just going to blam. There. Difficult, huh? I'm going to use it on this side, too. And I'm going to go one more time, make it a bit deeper. There we go. And now I'm going to take my blending mode. Let's try color dodge again. Funny how we're using that so much. Wow. That's, that's a bit much for me. Uh, all right. <laughs> so I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit here. First, what I'd like to do, I think these edges are, are, are throwing me off a bit. I went too far on purpose, knowing that I can always fix it here in a second. Put on a layer mask, take a nice big brush, spacebar to position my image up a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and paint some of that out. X to switch my colors. Paint some of that edge out here so I can see exactly what I'm working with. All right, spacebar, position my image. I'm going to do it the top side now. And now that I've got, gotten rid of my images or my edges a bit, I can see I've gone a little bit far inside, so I'm going to put my opacity a bit back up again. Something around... that looks nice, actually. 
There we go, that blends in much, much, much better, much more to my liking. Alright, so I'm looking at this image. You know, I'm seeing I have a bit of a green llama here. I think there are actually two. There's another one hiding back there. So I'm going to go back to my mask here, and using a fairly small brush, I'm still going to keep my soft edges, but I'm going to paint the green off those camels, or camels, llamas. Nobody likes green llamas. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss novel. There we go, that looks nicer. Hold down the Alt or Option key to look at my mask. That's what we're working with here. Kind of looks like a bunny, doesn't it? Didn't mean to do that. Option, Alt key, click on my mask to bring it back to my regular RGB composite. And you know, I'm thinking that actually looks really nice. And uh, so I'm going to select my top layer here. Hit Shift, Option, Command, E, or Shift, Alt, Control, E on the PC. That just makes an entire flattened copy duplicate, not flatten my entire, my entire canvas. I'm just going to go ahead and turn these middle guys off. You're not going to see any change because this guy at the top here is doing all the work. And like I said earlier, here's our before, here's our after. I'm going to lower the opacity here, bring it down just a bit. You can keep it contrasted if you feel like making a fantasy scene or whatever. But I'm thinking 60% or so looks really nice. All right. There we go, and I think we're pretty much done here. I'm going to hit the F key to go to full screen mode. I'm going to hit Shift Tab to bring back just the right side and Space Bar to position my image where I like it. Just to recap exactly what we've done, first I took my background and duplicated it and to make an, uh, to make that layer there that, in which I Gaussian blurred to a full 250 and stuck on a color dodge with a, with a layer mask to not blow up the sky too much. Then I applied a solid color fill with a nice green that I, that I uh, masked out again as well as the llamas. Nobody likes green llamas. Then I stuck to an overlay, followed by this, this little stream here, made that a bit greener to blend in and then made at the very end this flattened version of the of the entire thing that I can lower the opacity and get a nice result in the end. And the entire thing is completely non-destructive and highly editable. I can come back in a year and always see my original. Alright, if you have any more questions, feel free to visit questional.com. I'll have a link in the sidebar and ask away. I'll see you there.